Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's session on the life skills. Life skills, yeah. So it's BC three one five life skills, and this is and this class would be one hour a week every week, and yeah. So what we would be covering in this would be a repeat. I'm sure each of you all would have already gone through the Christian leadership or the timeless principles for the workplace. You know, some of some of the things that we would be learning in this course would be an overlap. But then this is something that is much needed uh, in our day to day life. And the notes for this course is already uploaded on the Google stream you can download it and yeah as we start this as we uh, begin this course we would be having two assessment one at the end of september that's a september last week and the final assessment would be end of november just give me a minute while i just check is there any chat Okay, good to see everyone uh, after a long time and welcome each of you to our session. So let's talk about the life skills. So what do you know about life skills and why do we need the skill? Is it really important? What do you guys say? So we look at the importance of life skill in this course and later we move on to the personal development and then we will move on to the personal planning or goal setting so these are certain things that we could have known or, or we know or we can learn uh, in the earlier sessions we would have uh, had a gist of it or some of them would have had these uh, built in within them to handle certain skills but then when we look at the personal goal setting or interpersonal communication skill the importance of that and also we will look at the time management money management people management and conflict resolution and the creativity and the critical thinking and how how do we make this team decisions and making emotional or uh, cultural intelligence so these are certain things that we need to look in that can be applied in our day-to-day -day life along with the change and continuous learning and so on we would be covering in this course. So we are going to look at each one thing at a time. So as we start, before we start, what uh, the grading system we would follow for this course would be something very uh, fun and simple. It would be interesting. We would have two quiz quizzes or subjective type of assessment which is easy it won't be like intense like the other courses but we will keep it very simple and interesting at the same time so um, the important aspect of life skill is that we will look at the word life skill itself when we say skill that means somebody has certain skill to perform certain tasks better or this person has an ability to do something really well so we look at that so this skill when we say that this person is skilled you see in certain tasks they seem to be excellent if you take up a skilled carpenter means that this person has something to do with the woodwork and he's skilled in that so it can be an administration it can be uh, any kind uh, 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 a person who's uh, a technical person who's very well in handling the computers or tech related gadgets very well so he has certain skill that person carry certain ability that they have so uh, this is what we're going to study some uh, some may have these expertise within them but there are so, uh, uh, I mean, some of us need to develop certain skill within us. So that is what we're going to look at in this course. So why are we looking at life skills? So when we say life skill, 
What do we mean? So we're going to look, how are we going to apply these skills in our life? Why do we, why do we need certain skills in our life is what we're going to look at in this course. And by learning these skills, how we can make our life better. We're going to look at it in this. So whatever things that we do in our daily life, it gives us the capacity to be efficient, maybe uh, to solve problem or to know, to deal with certain challenges and so on in our life. And also by acquiring certain skill, it also gives us a confidence to face challenges that we come across in our life. So these skills are very important and it is very good. It is something like we're having tools in the toolbox for the right need. So when the need acquires, we don't have to search everywhere, but we have it in place. So that's the reason we need to, we need to acquire certain skills in our life for us to perform better, for us to do things well in an excellent manner. Certainly, we need to know. So if certain times, um, uh, uh, for example, we can take ourselves. We Right now, uh, we, are, we may be a Bible college student or we may be uh, a full-time ministry person. So what is needed here? Or you may also be a working professional at the workplace. So the skill that is needed here is how do we manage our time? How do we manage our money? Maybe some of us are fantastic in uh, managing our time, managing our money, handling different people. But at the same time, there are certain people where we need to acquire these skills. We need to develop, we need to learn and develop these skills to handle time, to manage time, to handle people to uh, solve certain problems that we come across in our daily life. So these things will really help us to know uh, as a person to live our life well, to lead our life well with confidence, no matter what setting we might be in. We should know. Um, sometimes it can be in a rural setting, it could be uh, or it could be in an urban setting if you're having a ministry. So we should know how to minister to certain kind of people. So we need to acquire the skill. Or if it, if it is a working professional at workplace, how do you manage people in that current setting? Or you may be a homemaker. So how do you manage time, the task that needs to be done at home? We need to do that. So as we learn and acquire or develop these skills, nothing but it will only boost our confidence level to handle certain things and make us to do things better. So it's, it's like when we learn, when we keep ourselves open to learn new skills, it's only like adding a new tool, new tool to our toolbox. So when, when there's a time of need, we don't have to search for it, but it is handy. We can handle it well in a much better way. So we're going to uh, look at this uh, in a whole topic, a specific function, uh, um, on a specific topic, how to develop, uh, how to develop in this area, the area of personal development, how we develop ourselves as a person. So the thing is that um, we have been looking at some sessions uh, which developed us spiritually. But now we're going to look at things uh, about the inner man, how we pray in our word, in our worship, and that can help us. Definitely has helped person as a tripod. We know we have a spirit, soul, and a body, and how we indulge in, how we exercise and so it helps us as a person now. And we need to understand that as a human being. 
we have spirit, soul and body. And we need to learn what we see in natural influence and effect the spiritual in us. Sense like we have some challenges in our physical, has a bearing on our spiritual being as well. So if we have a wonderful ministry and we're doing, you know, we are just a wonderful, we're having just a wonderful ministry and we know that we're spending time in the presence of God. You know you're receiving revelation from the Spirit of God that we are ministering wonderfully. Yeah. Praise God for that. But on the natural side of things, you know, if you are lacking certain things, if you are managing our time well, or we always show up late, or meeting, uh, we always start our meetings late, it's not seem to be very organized in our life. And then that has a bearing on our spiritual side as well. So that affects the spiritual. So as an individual minister, we need to take time, we need to set things right, we need to be organized, and then develop that skill. See what are the areas that we need to work on, set things right, and then handle it well. So how do you handle it well? If in case you have a team, you will need to know how to handle the team. We need to know how to communicate to the team what needs to be communicated so that they understand what is needed, what is expected, so that they can do it well. If things are not communicated well, if the team is not uh, um, aware of the weight of the work that they need to do, then we can't expect, we can't expect that, uh, you know, the work that needs to be done would be fully done. There would be some kind of lack because it was not communicated well to them. And not only to one person, if you have a big team of 10 members, for example, the vision that you have, the plan that you have, if it's communicated to everyone equally, and the responsibility is assigned to each one, you can see the task is completed in a better and in an excellent manner. If the plan and the vision is not communicated in the way that it needs to be presented or in the way that we are expecting it to be, the outcome of that, then there is a lack in the work, lack in the productivity. So what is important here is for us to communicate to the team and also knowing the task, knowing the time that is needed. If the task is huge and that much of time is also needed, I think we need to assign this to, to a set of people that they can work together to have a good outcome, to have a better outcome. So the people on board also need to be... Uh, in this vision needs to be shared so that there's, they are enthusiastic, they are, uh, they are active. With effect, they can do the work, do the task that has been assigned to them. If the communication does not happen from the leader, so what happens? If one person trying to handle things, there is miscommunication, there may be misunderstanding, there may be conflicts, and when the conflicts happens, the person may not know how to handle it, or the person should also need a skill how to handle the conflicts, how to resolve them within the person, how to see to it that the outcome is done, the task is completed. So we, we so, you know, as a team, we, the team that need to grow stronger. So if the, if the communication is done 
well at the first place and the task is assigned to each different member so we can see the team can perform better and deliver the task in the expected manner in the expected time. So you see, we, even that is a skill. We need to acquire these skills. And we also see uh, that um, there is a physical and the natural side of it. So as we develop, we need to know but developing people or develop, developing these simple skills is very helpful on a long run. So there's no one called uh, an expert in handling people, handling tasks, handling time. But when you come across, you're learning. As you learn, you develop that skill. What went wrong this time may not be repeated next time because you know the weight of the task and you will plan ahead. So let's look at this whole thing. If you know a personal development, how we can develop ourselves. How we can develop ourselves as a person. Maybe the skill, the qualities, and some of the things that we need in life. So one thing we understand is that in a lifelong process, it is not something that starts uh, starts now and ends now or uh, the life skill that we the course that we have started now doesn't just start in the month of August and it goes up till November and it ends no what we learn what we start now it goes lifelong this is just an eye opener it's just a spark that we are trying to ignite within you lifelong there will be certain skills that we need to learn we need to develop and we need to apply it within ourselves and carry it as a tool in our toolbox so what we learn here is just the basic fundamentals but we can go through our life and continue to learn and continue to own these skills and become a better person so that we are confident we are efficient we are effective in whatever task we do in our life. So it's a good thing, isn't it, to learn and develop new skill. When we say life skills, it just doesn't mean something to do technically. It can be anything. The task that is needed for you ahead in your ministry, in your work, in your profession, in your calling, in the purpose that God has called you to develop that within you. So it may not be in the course that we are taking, but then the skills that you acquire depends on the task that you have ahead. So in this course, we only encourage you to be a good learner and show you the importance of learning new skills. So let's do that. So what we see here is personal development. So one thing that we uh, we consider in personal development is when we look at it, it's good. Look at this as a theory. But then psych, psych, uh, a psychologist know that, uh, of course, this is not a perfect thing, but this is several things that we can learn from this theory. Uh, theory of uh, uh, Marshmallow. The full name is uh, Abraham Maslow. Maslow, sorry. So he proposed a theory, and this theory is suggested to be a hierarchy. Um, yeah, hierarchy of. Um, he just present that, or uh, I'll just present it on screen. Just give me a minute. Marshmallow theory. Mash. Marshall theory. Just give me a minute, please. It's in your notes on page six. So 
So this is called as MASH, Maslow hierarchy of needs. So Abraham Maslow, he proposed this theory. And you know, one thing that we need to understand is that the spiritual side of thing is missing here. So it's OK. It's not the perfect thing. It's not addressing that uh, we need to definitely learn uh, quite a bit from the, this. So what did Maslow propose? Maslow proposed that every human being has several needs. So he put it like a pyramid and he said, he said that every human being has several needs and the need can be like this. He listed it in an order importance. So this is a theory that is what he proposed. I'm not saying that you know it, as, but it's a theory that uh, we propose we can learn a lot from this. So if you look at the pyramid, at the base of the pyramid is that he put forth a psychological or psychological need, uh, meaning basic needs for the body. You know, uh, uh, I need food, I need water, I need oxygen, or I need to breathe, I need rest, or I need exercise, or it can be I need time of leisure. So maybe it's an entertainment and so on, and then some physical need. So he, he, he put that in the base of the pyramid, saying it's a psychological need, and every human being has these needs. Now, if you look into your own lives, you will say that, yes, this is how I've been created. And you know, there is, there is this need and this is a genuine need so maslow proposed that you know these needs have to be met and then there's another set of needs so what are those needs safety need for safety both physical and psychological need for secure health need for resource need to have some familiarity or um, uh, or uh, some particular routine and everyday safety needs. And then uh, we see the overall and above, we listed a need of wanting to belong, you know, being part of a community, being part of a family and some social needs, right? Being afflicted, being part of a group, being able to love, being able to trust, being able to receive and give, no affection and love and so on. And he put that as love and belongingness. Belonging, belongingness is also a need, you know? So these need something very genuine, something that is needed to be satisfied. So when you satisfy, when you are being satisfied with these needs, then you go on to another set of needs. Now, what is that? Need for respect, need for self worth, need for self esteem. Maybe at work with the people whom you know, work you know you work with or people whom you know it would be um, with family members the need for self-esteem or you need to be affirm uh, affirmation is needed or esteemed respect is needed and so on so you could put it all as a esteem needs and then over and above that we set another need called cognitive needs meaning a need to understand a need for learning need or for knowledge need to know answers for some questions about meanings and purpose and so on and some aesthetic needs about beauty or creativity and you know some uh, 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 outlet for design and so on 
the need of art or need to know how to appreciate an art aesthetic needs and and to top at all the pyramid we see self actualization meaning being a person and reaching that potential that you have maybe there is a potential and there's not been utilized at all and on top of the pyramid we see self actualization is knowing that you have been a potential and you need to use that potential meaning the ability or a gift or a talent you know and to be able to reach that full potential so uh, uh, the maslow's hierarchy of needs it shows that the hierarchy the hierarchy meaning you start from the base and then you work your way up so that is theory are real in it and we see there's nothing of the spiritual side right here but then something that is applicable to us something that is yes it is secular but it is humanistic it is psychologist and so you know just so that uh, he just proposed this theory and it is and it has certain elements definitely uh, that is true and it is applicable for us in our daily life so how we function as a human being you know um we want some basic needs in life and when these needs are met we are looking to the other things in life which is very common so the thing is that the self actualization is also a need also a need there to reach that we need to really develop our potential develop ourselves develop certain abilities in us in order to reach reach that potential yes in masmelo's word self actualization is right to reach that that is what he meant there is a need there is a hierarchy that needs to be achieved so another way to say self actualization is to become everything that we are capable of becoming and fully of what we are capable of becoming um like when as a believer as we know that god has called us for certain things he has called us for a purpose that we need to we need to analyze we need to learn so the minute we analyze and learn and find out this is the call that god has called me this is the purpose we need to equip us in that area and also we know that god puts that gift in us he gives us that talent he he upskills us and then we need to really drive us into that direction so that we can see uh, we can see the fulfillment of god's plan in our life so i i i think this is something that is missing in maslow's theory of the god's perspective but the fact is that we have these needs the human needs and it's good for us to recognize that and it's good to be aware of that and develop ourselves and there's nothing wrong and there's no harm in developing ourselves as a person in order um uh, it in order it has uh, it has a right to become all that god wants us to become and develop ourselves as a person so when we look at it the few things where we see how we develop ourselves how we can take steps to practically develop ourselves a personal development is that one thing is the resources all of us have um, you know have this ability or able to develop uh, or manage the resources that is around us a person may not have money a person uh, may not uh, have certain kind of talent or uh, or some of us uh, have one thing that one thing that we do not have but we need to develop develop that so how do we develop that the time is the same for all of us all of us have the same time that is 24 hours and that itself is a resource that we have 
So what can we do and how do we manage the time so that we can organize ourselves and the time and at the same time develop the skill that is needed so that we can manage our time better. We just looked at few things here. We saw the time that we spend, you know, as a student, because that we have we would have list of priorities that may differ from each other in the class. Because some of you all are just students, some of you all are working professionals, some of you all are full-time ministry leaders. But all of us are blessed with the same time of 24 hours. But then each of us have different tasks to handle. So that is where the challenge comes. How are we going to manage our time to handle certain task that has been assigned to us in this season and how we can prioritize so what we need to do is list we need to have a to-do list just make a list of the task that you have and then prioritize it what is important what can be uh, looked into later what can be delegated or what can be, uh, you know, uh, kept aside for some time. So when you make this list, you know where you need to pay attention to. And then that will help you to manage your time and make you effective the task that has been assigned to you. So when I say it is just not it doesn't just apply for the student or working professionals or full-time ministry leaders. Even if you are a homemaker, there are certain responsibilities that you have at home. How do you manage people at home? How do you manage your tasks, the, uh, the household chores at home? At all, everything takes time. So you plan it accordingly. And then, Despite of our background, there is an ability that needs to be developed within us to manage different tasks. So when we develop that within ourselves, when we prepare this to-do list, it gives us a clear idea, it gives us a clear picture how we can handle a day-to-day -day schedule. And at the same time, we can also set aside certain time to develop these life skills, a new learning skill that, that is needed for each of us at the task that you have. But you can set aside at least an hour a day to develop this new skill within you. If not a day, at least three days in a week or two days in a week, depending on your on your schedule so when you set aside certain time where you can read and develop the skill or take up a course learn it only adds a, a new tool to your toolbox and it makes you efficient in different areas that you are so with that we will um, we will stop our session here and we will look into it we can take it slowly so that we learn and yeah if there's anyone in the class that you would like to share uh, that uh, you have learned a certain new skill and that came in handy uh, when you needed it is there if there's anyone in the class that you would like to share please go ahead It will just help each other. Uh, certain skills, certain tasks uh, that you acquired at maybe at a younger age or when you had time, um, you just learned it. But then when you got busy, uh, this, uh, this tool came in handy to help you. Anyone in the class?
we have three of them on campus. We have Asha Rani, Kung Blue, and uh, Brother Shri Kumaria. Ma'am, I would just like to share. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Uh, when my husband was posted in a mission hospital in Salur, it's a place in Andhra Pradesh, towards Orissa border. There, I had time, so I have learned, I have joined NIIT and j learned computer skills there. Mm -hmm. And from there, in when we were living in Orissa, I always had a um, interest in to learn knitting. So wow. in, it's uh, in winters it is four degrees in Orissa. So mm -hmm. I you I learned the skill of knitting and uh, I uh, had the joy of knitting sweaters for all my children and sister wow. and, and and after that I taught other people because. It was not necessary after, because we moved to hotter place after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, after coming to this place where I am staying now, it's uh, in Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh, towards Bangalore. So after coming here, my father always used, I'm a teacher by profession, but he always encouraged me to do management. So I have done mm -hmm. my uh, management, business management here by distance education and I, I recognized that I had fall over my life so I started learning I started APC college now so that's how I keep developing myself and it's a, I enjoy learning thank you ma'am Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Rupa, for sharing. That's been uh, very encouraging that age does not stop you from learning. Um, you know, the place uh, or the responsibilities in your life uh, in each season should not stop you from learning new skills. It's wonderful to hear like how you learn knitting and then you moved on to a different place and you, um, you know, you joined a business management class and now still you have not stopped learning where you have joined the Bible College and that's wonderful. Wonderful to hear. So class, we can keep the last 10 minutes open on every week once. So I would recommend each of you to please open up and share the skills that you learned and how it came handy to you. Okay. So with that, um, we will end this session today. And uh, hoping from next session onwards, each of us can take turn to share the skills that you learned. Okay. So yes, we can end the session with a word of prayer. Dear God, we come into your presence. We thank you. We thank you for each one of them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are not here by choice, but then you have called us, and there is a purpose in our life, Lord. Even as we study the life skills, Father, we pray that you will impart the new skills into us, Lord. You will give us the ability to learn that skill, to acquire that skill, to master that skill, oh Father. The skill that each of us needed at the assignment that you have for each of us, Lord. Father, I pray and I speak that talent into each one of them, Lord. I pray that each one will have the time to learn and acquire that skill. Lord, I pray that I pray that you will release your wisdom, you will release your understanding, you will release your ability, O oh Father, to acquire that skill and master that skill in our life, O oh Lord. Father, you are the great teacher. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will teach us and you will lead us and you will guide us. You will give us the ability, Lord, to learn that new skill that each of us in this class needs it, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in. And see you all next week. God bless. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Nice Thank meeting you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Wonderful to see each of you all. Yes. Thanks. God bless.